the positive solution of the equation x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0 is 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2. And the negative solution is 1 minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. Now this can be proven if you um, use the quadratic formula to find these solutions. This is not a factorable trinomial, so you could not use the AC method to factor it, but you could use the quadratic formula. So I'll quickly show you that so you know where those two fractions are coming from. The quadratic formula is the formula x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a where a is the coefficient of the x squared term. For this trinomial, a would be 1. b is the coefficient of the x term, which in this is negative 1, and c is the constant term, which is negative 1. So we enter these values into the formula, and we get our solutions for x are negative b. So the opposite of negative 1 is 1, plus or minus the square root, of b squared, so we have negative 1 squared, minus 4 times 1 times negative 1, plugging in the a number and the c number there. And that's all divided by 2 times the a number, 2 times 1. Next I'm going to simplify inside of the square root and also in the denominator, 2 times 1 is 2. And inside of the square root we have negative 1 squared, which equals positive 1, minus 4 times 1 times negative 1. So that product, 4 times 1 times negative 1 is negative 4. So we have 1 minus negative 4, which equals 1 plus 4, or 5. So x, the solutions for x, are 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So these are actually two solutions for x, where 1 is 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2, and the other solution is 1 minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So that's a proof of where they're getting those two fractions from. So now we want to find the decimal approximations for both and just look at what we get. So you'll need a calculator to do this. Most calculators allow you to type this in from left to right. So what I'm looking for on my calculator is the square root and the square root on most calculators is above a button that has x squared. Usually it's on the left-hand side of your calculator, but above it is the square root key. And to access that, you're going to have to type the button that says second, or it might say shift. But if you do second x squared, you'll get the square root on your calculator. So I want to enter in 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So here's how you would do that with most calculators. Start on top and you would type 1 plus second x squared and that's going to put the square root on your calculator. And then you type your inside number 5. Press equals now. So you do the sum on top, press equals before you hit divide. Now I do divided by the denominator 2, and then I press equals again. When you do this, you should get an irrational number. That just means that it's a decimal that doesn't have a pattern and it doesn't terminate. But if you look at the digits, this is what you should get. Okay. So now, if we look at the um, next one, which is 1 minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. We're going to type that in the calculator now. So 1 minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. So again, we start on top. We type 1 minus second x squared. That gets the square root 5 and then press equals and then do divided by 2 equals. And so this is going to give you the decimal negative 0.618033989. Now, these numbers are not the same. One is 1.618 and the other is negative 0.618. So they are very different numbers. But this question is asking you to compare and look for something special that happens in the decimal approximations. That means after the ones digit, look at the decimal part and notice they are identical. 
So the decimal part of both approximations is the same. The integer part is talking about the 1 and the 0, and those are not the same. So this is just an explanation of this investigation. Really, it was just asking you to type those numbers in the calculator, see what you get, compare the decimal parts, and you'll notice that they are the same.